about this because Sula has this exotic name. Mm. Sula. You know, when you say it, you have to almost do the movement. You do oh, Sula. There's a, there's a sensuous in there. It, 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 there's a sensuality. And I think a, a lot of times when you use that Sula. Yeah, it's very serpentine. But when you hear Nell, you hear yeah. this constricted, confined, closed. very mm-hmm. close, very good word. Mm-hmm. I like that. Very closed um, person. Mm-hmm. This very close character. Nell is, it, I'll say this, when I first read the book, when I saw Nell, I thought, death Nell. Mm, like, like a nail, it's, like a hammer yeah, it's, nail. Yeah, it's, this is closed. We're mm-hmm. all done with this personality as a human being. Mm-hmm. But when I heard Sula, mm-hmm. there was this sumptuous Sula mm-hmm. says sumptuous Sula says sensual Sula says out out very good mm-hmm. and Nell says mm. <laughs> oh, hey, and, for the record that was not time or, or yeah we we didn't even plan that but right. yeah um and that's what good literature does for the record it makes you it puts you in that place mm-hmm. where you're in these characters um for better or for worse mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you I think, well, not you. I don't Us, know you. we, they. Me. Me, myself, personally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's we're so good. Funny. I told y'all we're Oh, my good. God. Oh, my God. Because, you know, me, myself, impersonally, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. That extra person. Yeah, me, myself, and I. Oh, that's why we have all those names. Okay, anyway. <laughs> you look into um, a piece of work, whereas... It's kind of like a character study. It's kind of, it's kind that, of what, that's what we're doing. That's what no, that's what she did even with this book. It's like True. Um, we're looking at two uh, diametrically different right um, people. This continuum, right of folks. And it's like well, even like with the two main characters, when you look at you know you got can you see that you got Sula here, you got Nail way over here, right. and they meet in the middle and they become like fast friends and you spend most of the book trying to figure out what did they really see in one another but they loved each other they i think if you have an opposite friend mm-hmm. then you do see immediately what they see in each other because you said you use the term fast friends that's just me picking up stuff um I don't think they were fast friends. I think they developed, they, okay, there was this rescue moment Mm. and then a friendship was developed. Mm. Um, There was a commonality moment. Mm. And maybe that's just me personalizing. We have a commonality. Go big eye, swoop, swoop. Swoop, swoop. Um, (laughs) Where you you find that moment in common. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it just sounded like Becky. Um, where <laughs> don't worry about that. Was... I told you it's gonna happen. It's impromptu. Yeah. Um, but you find that moment where you guys are you connect on something. Mm-hmm. Uh, we connected on literature. We connected on poetry. We connected musically. Connected on a couple of things. Yeah, and I think uh, I bring this up only to say that the marriage of any vision Mm -hmm. usually takes some commonality. Mm -hmm. I think Sula and Nell had a commonality in their desire to just be women. Whether it's women of I'm thinking this particular yes, she (laughs) she gave you the hmm pose. Mm -hmm. Um I think they connected on this this idea of womanhood. They liked being women. Mm. Um I think what happens? But they 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 manifest that in different ways, mm-hmm. of course. Whereas Nail fell more into the more traditional route right. of being a woman. Right. Sula was like, "What the thing that yeah, right, yeah, exactly. that I need to ha- <laughs> encounter?" <laughs> Tambourine clap. They're right. We're going very to very much, very much. We got to get a tambourine, the tambourine yes, up in this piece. Yes, um, yes. To go with the tea. Tambourine, tea, tea and literature. And literature. And talk. And talk. <laughs> I like the tambourine part. I like okay. that too. Um, this is my brain trust over here. But yeah, that's one that's of the things heavy. that um, I think drew both of us to the book. Mm. The, the, there is a... Mm, there's a couple of things. 
that I, I that I found interesting. Like when I remember my first forays into uh, this particular book. How old were you the first time you read it? The first time I was I was older. I was like in my twenties. Really? Yeah, I was in my twenties. I didn't read it like there are some books I read in my teens that you know like The Awakening. Carrie, right? Ooh, and, Campos. Uh, Kim Chopin. Okay, Chopin. And um, their uh, their eyes were like, God, oh my God, it changed my life. I think every we're gonna do that. One yeah, we got we got to because it changed my life. It wouldn't be a video log about books without that. One, it, it, we yes. just wouldn't. Okay, but when I encountered Sula, I was older, okay. so it was processed from a different place. And mm. I remember when I first started reading, and you, you're reading about Shadrach and his. His, his national suicide national day. suicide day and how he processed his pain and right. um, his confusion and his, the way his mind was basically ripped to shreds without a bullet touching it right um, by his experiences um, I remember feeling two things I remember feeling a little confused <laughs> like who <laughs> like why is he doing this right yeah and then I remember thinking as she was describing the town and their city and their settlement rather um in <laughs> called the bottom I'm so glad that you said that is okay. up in the the mountains because it was the bottom in the top yeah the bottom and the top that was my issue. Yeah. But even though it was kind of, it's kind of like 12th night where everything is upside down because the bottom was up and the top was bottom right. or whatever. You know, first shall be last, last shall be first. So, um. Hence the name Shadrach for the record. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I remember thinking of the culture of uh, that time for African American planet, early 20th century mm. for African Americans. Mm. And I, I remember thinking of that as like its own character. There was like it was it was palpable. You could touch what that she time was, period. Yeah, the the way that Elder Morrison builds a, a scene. <laughs> I mean, 174 pages. The way that she builds a scene to where you are there and, right. and you can you can feel the dirt and you can you can see the mountains and this the scene itself is a character you know um that culture that was created as a result of um uh, people of people i mean i don't even want to say people of color because oppression it was people oppression knows no color you right. know or, or or a struggle it knows, knows an no economic color. boundary yeah yeah and uh, that's one of my favorite things about miss morrison and elder morrison um it will explore a lot of this in a mercy Mm. Um, and in love, mm. we're mm. gonna do both of those because those are particular to my heart. Love, love, Song of Solomon. Ooh, ooh! If you miss Song of Solomon, oh my God, you've lost your whole life. I, I can't. Okay, sidebar, yeah. sidebar, sidebar, okay, sidebar, real quick, real quick. Okay, because uh, we're talking about Sulu, we still gotta, you know, delve deep. Right, right, right. Big, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we're there. I can't wait to discuss Solomon, Song of Solomon, because I really, so if you haven't read it, read it. I really want to talk about the, the ending, because I really want to talk about yes! what, I mean, I, I felt like we needed an epilogue, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, now what happened, you know? And I, I really want to talk about why she ended the story that way, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. Okay. But we were talking about how Miss Morrison, Elder Morrison, um, and you're going to wonder why I call her elder a lot, but when you're a literary person and you're a person who writes, I think, um, you nod. You nod. I think you bow. You she nod, has. You give. I mean, I think when you rent, win a Pulitzer <laughs> and you become like, you know, poet laureate for, you know, the country or, you know, what was what's that? No, I'm thinking about Maya. Maya was poet laureate. But she was like. And. She, she had some similar similar honor where she was like you know the official writer of official writers of you know? life yeah okay so I think she's earned the term elder, elder. um yeah. and it's just for me it's a matter of respect mm -hmm. um my respect for imagery and being able to tell a story on setting yeah. um a lot of people get me confused with I hate I hate poets now, blah, 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 whatever. And I'm just going to go ahead and dispel the myth. The issue is not the poet. 
it's the lack of imagery. It's the lack of building. It's the lack of movement. And let me read just, this is the opening line. If you can write a rivaling opening line, I'm just saying do it. My favorite opening line for the record. Oh, this is one of them. It's wrong. Sight of Fred, Sight of Fred, and Andy Andy go. Go. <laughs> Okay, okay yeah, I'm done, okay. I'm done, I'm done. No, seriously. Well, Did you see the, 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 yeah, you got a snack with that. Um, call. Um, in that place where they tore the nightshed and black bear patches from their roots to make room for medallion city golf courses, there was once a neighborhood. That's one sentence. Do you not tell me that you don't see people clearing History. an area yeah. to make another green area? Mm-hmm. Um, th- and that's why I, I bow, I honor, I re- veneer Elder Morrison in the way that I do. Veneer. Veneer. I'm that person. The thing about it that that opening okay we're just talking about the opening statement it is what can you do i mean it, to really discuss this book it's gonna take 20 days I mean, it's gonna take wait 20 how many minutes. pages was it right 174 it, pages it, of of death and that's the idea about writing right if each page that you write can inspire a 20 minute conversation wow. then you're a writer oh i got a long way to go baby me too um cheers but <laughs> There is this dismiss, dismissiveness mm. about the uh, history of a people mm. that inhabited a place. I mean, when, when, I, when you think about, you know, where that skyscraper is now, it used to be, you know, Native American land, and um, there was a history, and there was a culture, and there was people who lived, lived and died and became and you know, fought through and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then, gave birth. Right. Died, buried, gave birth again, built a culture, a church, a school. And um, it just gets Yeah. Wiped away based on they some want, concrete. They want some a golf course. Based on concrete and <laughs> and that is okay. We got romanticized for a second. Oh well, yeah. Go ahead and get back to it. <laughs> Forever evolving, creating whirlwinds in my wake. 